Hello and welcome back at Basics of Biology. In this video series, we are discussing enzymes that are used in recombinant DNA technology. And in this video, we will discuss end modification enzymes, which are terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase, alkaline phosphatase, and T4 polynucleotide kinase. Before starting the actual topic of our discussion, here are some questions that I have enlisted in this slide. What are end modification enzymes? Why we perform end modification? What is the use of terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase? And what is the role of alkaline phosphatase in DNA cloning? We will address these questions in this video. So let's discuss so what are these end modification enzymes? Well, there are numerous enzymes that modify DNA molecules by addition or removal of specific chemical groups. These are known as a modification enzymes or in other words we can say that these modification enzymes are the enzymes that make changes to the ends of DNA molecule. We have the DNA molecule. We have its ends if we want to make changes at the ends of the DNA molecule then we will use end modification enzymes. Now the first enzyme that we use in end modification is the terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase. It is a template independent DNA polymerase because it is able to synthesize a new DNA polynucleotide without base pairing of the incoming nucleotide to an existing strand of DNA or RNA. This enzyme is used for the formation of a cohesive ends by homopolymer tailing. Now what is this homopolymer? It is simply a polymer in which all the subunits are the same. Enzyme terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase catalyzes the addition of a series of nucleotides onto the 3' hydroxyl termini of a double-stranded DNA molecule. If this reaction is carried out in the presence of just one type of deoxynucleotides, a homopolymer tail is produced. Now coming to the second end modification enzyme that is alkaline phosphatase. Alkaline phosphatase obtained from various sources including the periplasmic space of E. coli bacteria uh, and calf intestinal tissue. This enzyme is heat stable and has its maximum activity at high pH. In humans it is found in many forms depending on its origin within the body. It plays an integral role in metabolism within the liver and development within the skeleton. Alkaline phosphatase removes the phosphate group from the 5' end of DNA molecule which prevents these molecules from being ligated to one another. Bacterial alkaline phosphatase is more stable but less active than cough intestinal alkaline phosphatase. This enzyme is used in uh, DNA cloning as it prevents the recircularization of the plasmid DNA and improves the efficiency of DNA cloning. Now coming to the another type of end modification enzyme that is T4 polynucleotide kinase. T4 polynucleotide kinase is obtained from E. coli cells that are infected with T4 phages, uh, performs the reverse reaction to alkaline phosphatase as it uh, phosphorylates uh, this DNA. It adds the phosphate group to the 5' end. It is mainly used for end labeling of DNA molecules. The polynucleotide kinase utilizes two types of reactions forward reaction and exchange reactions. In the forward reaction, polynucleotide kinase transfers the gamma phosphate from the ATP to the 5' end of polynucleotide DNA or RNA. The target polynucleotide lacks a 5' phosphate. And in the exchange reaction, target polynucleotide that has a 5' phosphate is incubated with an excess of ADP. 
in this situation polynucleotide kinase first transfers the phosphate from the polynucleotide onto an ADP molecule forming an ATP and leaving a dephosphorylated target polynucleotide kinase then performs a forward reaction and transfers a phosphate from ATP onto the target polynucleotide. In this way we can exchange the already present phosphate and group with an uh, radio labeled phosphate group. And this was all about the end modification enzymes. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.